South Korea's top diplomat says she will not rule out the possibility that Seoul might scrap the controversial 2015 deal with Japan over that country's sexual enslavement of Korean women during World War II. That said, Kang kyung hwa stressed the importance of maintaining good ties with Tokyo if possible. Kwon jang Oh with the details. Korean Foreign Minister Kam kyung hwa said all options are on the table when it comes to the 2015 agreement between Seoul and Tokyo on Japan's wartime sexual enslavement of Korean women, including the abolishment of the deal altogether. Speaking to Korea's CBS radio on Thursday, Kang said she understood why the surviving victims are asking for the agreement to be dissolved, but added that there is also a part the government has to play in maintaining a relationship with an important neighbor like Japan. She also said that the government has a difficult task of formulating a stance while sitting between opposite sides, but for now that they're prepared to have sincere exchanges with the victims. The December 2015 deal had been reached by the previous Pakkana administration with Tokyo, which included an indirect apology from Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and the establishment of a foundation to compensate the victims. However, the top demand by the surviving victims, widely voiced by activists and the victims themselves, has been and still is Tokyo taking legal responsibility for the wartime atrocity that forced some 200,000 women, mostly Korean, to work in military-run brothels. A review of the agreement by a special task force assigned by President Moon Jae-in reached a conclusion last week. It heavily slammed the deal for lacking adequate communication with the victims. But the task force did not give any policy recommendations, and Seoul said they will need more time to meet with the victims and civic groups on the issue. Tokyo, meanwhile, has continued to stress that the landmark agreement cannot be changed nor scrapped, and that any attempt to do so would make bilateral relations, quote, unmanageable. There are also concerns that Seoul's diplomatic credibility could be damaged if it decides to back away from such a high-profile international agreement. Scrapping the agreement is unrealistic in my opinion. Japan has already said it will not renegotiate and it has stated for a long time that the deal needs to be honored. So it will be a very difficult task for the Moon administration to find a resolution within those restrictions. President Moon has kept his word and been quick to arrange meetings with the surviving victims. But time is running out as only 32 registered victims are still alive today with an average age of over 90. With each passing day, there is more pressure to find a solution to not only resolving the diplomatic issue, but also easing a lifetime of pain and suffering for the victims. Kwon Jang-ho, Arirang News.